Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're having a good morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this video. So I have both of the banners that should be coming to Global. Ray Zero should be coming next week, actually. And then I'm assuming Zelda should probably come out mid-May if the time frame stays the same, which it should, right? So Ray Zero should come out the 26th or the 27th, depending on where you live. And then two weeks after that, Zelda should drop the 10th or the 11th again, depending on what time zone you're in. But yeah, so these are the two current or not current, but um, you know, most recent banners that uh, are on JP. So we have the collab banner, which is absolutely terrible, and then we have Zelda's banner, which is it's I like it's not it's not crazy, but it's not like you know, it's not the worst banner. But this is this is just absolutely terrible. This this actually might be a contender for one of the worst banners in glow or actually in grand cross history right just in grand cross history but um regardless if you're free to play i would strongly again strongly suggest that you either do like 300 gems or like skip the banner i i know i know i'm about to get booed i'm about to get booed right but hear me out hear me out right so this banner is very bad very very bad you got 0.2 percent for you know the unfeatured and you got a 0.25 percent for a featured so the featured characters are rated up you know the collab characters are rated up which is good but all of these unfeatured characters are just units that are fodder like they have literally like no purpose or like barely any like relevance in the game whatsoever green escanor is good right he's still good but he's not like he's not the most like crazy unit like he was when he first dropped hauser yeah he's he's a decent farming unit jericho's really good for guild ball still i believe so there you go for jericho um merlin i believe this is the blue merlin i can never remember off the top of my head which one is which but i think this is blue merlin this is definitely blue gother um you know, you have one of the Fat Kings, Red Fairy King, what is this, uh, <laughs> Blue Brawler Bond, Green Elizabeth, and then Captain Meliodas. So again, these units are, like, this This list is terrible. What is this? I don't understand. What is this? So again, if you're free to play, even if you're play to play, I would still say don't go hard on this banner at all especially since global is not releasing content that gives us many gems so gems are scarce i'm not gonna lie gems are really scarce at the moment on global since we don't have much content we don't have tower trials we don't have final boss reruns we don't have you know we don't have many things that give us gems the you know the biggest thing that's about to give us gems is the reverse stage uh season three but even then you have to build up characters in order to get those gems. So it's not like they're handed to you on a silver platter. You have to work for those gems. So again, not many ways we get like we we can get gems. So keep that in mind. I honestly would say if you could or if you want to skip this banner, go right on ahead. I'm still debating if I'm skipping. I honestly might just skip. I don't know what else to do. I don't like they're not giving us gems to, you know, grind up. I, I know PvP, you get a lot of gems if you're a champion, right? But no one, like, not a, everyone wants to grind up champion every single week. Like, sometimes people just want to relax, right? But, again, no consistent way of getting gems besides PvP, daily missions, and um, that's pretty much it, right? Just PvP and daily missions. So, at the end of the day, like what are what are you gonna do right what are you gonna do for gems like i know a lot of people don't want to buy gems i don't want to buy gems i don't even want to buy the tickets for this banner but we'll see what happens with that now in terms of zelda's banner his banner again it's i like it's not like the craziest it's not the worst though right so 0.16 percent for all of these units um and then a 0.25 percent for the three featured now again very good very very good I would say again, if you could skip this banner for Zeldris, you you can absolutely do that. That's absolutely fine. I know these units won't return. All right, we, no collab units have ever returned, 
So I know, you know, this won't ever come back. So a lot of people want at least one copy of each of these units, which is fair. I, I, I do too, but like if they're pretty much not forcing you to buy gems, but it's like, you know, we're not really throwing out content. So you need the money, you know, like the packs are in the store if you want to get them. Like basically, you know trying to get you to buy the tickets or gems to summon on this banner i would say don't do it it's like the okay amelia and rem are really good but it's like ram ram is free so that's good beatrice and then the rest of these units are you know they're garbage like they're they're fodder right they're like literally fodder except for eskimo right but the rest of them are questionable and then some of them are just straight up fodder right but Zeldris, on the other hand, Zeldris has every single summonable commandment on his banner. He has every single coin shop sin on his banner. He has Nanashi on his banner. He has Green Arthur, Chandler. Chandler is pretty much basically one of the top. I think he might actually be the best non-festival blue unit in the game. Like, I think he actually is the best non-festival unit in the game. So you have Chandler. Then you have Assault Melee on his banner. Zeldris is pretty much like a really, really top tier support unit, not even just for um, Assault Melee, just in general. So keep that in mind. This banner, oh, also Ludo. I, I completely skipped over, but it has Ludo on the banner. So I know it's not really fair to compare a festival banner to a, you know, a collab banner that's only going to be here for what, two weeks and then it's leaving. But it's like, bruh. If you have 600, I can't really recommend wasting all 600 on this banner. I, I really can't. Like, a part of me wants to say go ahead and do it just because these units are limited. But then another part of me is like, that's 600 gems you can use on this banner and get, you know, potentially two festival units. I don't know. It's a really hard decision. But again, if you're free to play, I would say don't go hard on this banner again maybe like 300 gems and then get out of there it is what it is like global is just i don't know global is not giving us many like many um opportunities to get gems they're not giving us things to do to you know get gems they're not really they're not giving us content so it's not like we can farm up oh my god i'm gonna farm up 900 for this banner and then another 900 for this one right no you literally have to pick and choose you literally have to pick and choose. You either summon on this banner, right? You can wait to the last day to summon on this banner, sure, right? But I know a lot of people are still waiting to the last day to summon on, um, not this one, to summon on Merlin's banner. I know a lot of people are still waiting for literally the last day to summon on her banner to save up as many gems as they can and then spend them all to, uh, you know, summon for Merlin. But then again, keep in mind, Ray Zero is gonna come out and most likely next week if it doesn't come out next week i would literally be surprised like i would legit be in shock but it is probably going to come out next week and that's like interfering with merlin's banner because of the fact that merlin's banner right because she came out what last week i believe last week on the in, on the 12th so merlin's banner probably will end maybe the fourth um, it's in the game. I just can't remember the top of my head, right? But it's in the game, right? So it'll, it'll end in a couple weeks. But, um, yeah, so I don't know, man. I, I really, I honestly, I honest to God don't know which, what free-to-play players are going to do. But, again, if you want my opinion, I would say maybe if you have a lot of gems saved up, even from previous, go ahead and just, like, do 300 on, you know, the banner for the collab merlin you spend as many as you want on merlin i guess and then see how much you have for zeldris that's literally all i can tell you if you haven't summoned on merlin's banner or if you or if you're skipping merlin's banner that's good if you're really skipping merlin's banner that is actually good i'm not gonna lie that's good um i would recommend skipping this banner if you're skipping merlin as well and then just summon on zeldris that is my personal opinion but um if you did summon on merlin and you got her stop if you're gonna summon on the ray zero collab just Pretty much, if you get Amelia and Rem within 300 or before the 600, stop. Just stop, right? Just stop. Who cares about Beatrice? I'm sorry. But Rem is free. Rem and Amelia, like, just stop. And then summon on this banner. But um, as far as that goes, that's pretty much it for this video. 
I just wanted to give you guys my personal thoughts and opinions on what free-to-play players should summon on and how far they should go on each individual banner and how much they should be saving, etc., etc. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Go ahead and drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel already. And as always, I will see you all next time.